Welcome to the 7 Days to Die Weapons Explained series. Today, we've got shotguns. All demonstrations are done on insane difficulty with skills appropriate to when you'd expect to acquire the weapon. Shotguns are possibly the most universally used weapon in all of 7 Days to Die. Thanks to having plentiful, unique ammo, high effectiveness even at lower skill levels, and adjacent to the sexual Tyrannosaurus perk, for which you likely have already invested into the strength tree somewhat. Shotguns have three unique mods, Sawed Off, which widens the spread of bullets for better coverage against a crowd, the Shotgun Choke, which tightens the spread and makes shotguns more reliable against a single target, and the Duckbill mod, which gives the bullets a unique horizontal spread for controlled fire at head level. Fans of the original Doom game will likely enjoy the Duckbill mod, as it has the same firing pattern of the iconic shotgun from those oldest of shooters. Additionally, the shotgun has three ammo types. Standard shotgun shells are meant to be used at exceedingly close ranges and perform best when multiple enemies are grouped closely together. Slugs offer additional range and condense the shot into a single projectile, making them more reliable at stopping a tougher target in fewer shots. Newer players may find slugs harder to use, however, as they don't impart a spread that often compensates for poor or awkwardly placed shots. Lastly are the exceedingly unique shotgun breaching rounds. These do slightly less damage than a standard slug, but absolutely decimate blocks and can be used to break into safes or through walls at respectable speeds. Shotguns come in four tiers. The first and weakest tier is the pipe shotgun, which shares the shoddy craftsmanship and low performance of all other pipe weapons. It's the spiritual successor to the blunderbuss, which was removed in Alpha 20 in favor of the aforementioned pipe guns. It loads only a single shotgun shell, but only does slightly less damage than the proper shotguns. The damage may still feel lackluster at higher difficulties, however, as skill increases make up a large portion of any weapon's damage, and you only get a single shot before having to reload. The upside of the pipe shotgun is that it is crafted from simple materials. For this reason, players have adapted to using multiple pipe shotguns at once, allowing them to cycle through their weapons and unleash a far more reliable barrage. Next up at the second tier of shotguns is the double-barreled shotgun. The shotgun loads two shells instead of one and reloads much faster as well, resulting in a firing rate almost four times that of the pipe shotgun. Additionally, the two shots it does load can be fired with little or no delay, making it exceptionally good for emergency situations. For its reliability, low ammo usage, and stopping power, this weapon is often an early game favorite, even among builds that do not prioritize strength. Also, it can be used alongside any number of pipe shotguns or additional double-barreled shotguns, just as pipe shotguns were, to help cover a less-than-ideal shot-to-reload ratio. At the third tier of shotgun, we have the Mighty Pump. The pump shotgun gets its name for the pump action that happens between each shot. In this way, it loses the burst reliability of the double-barreled shotgun, but picks up a massive improvement of magazine size to compensate. Additionally, the unique tube extender mod for this weapon takes its capacity from 8 shells to 11 without increasing the reload time. This gives the pump shotgun incredible sustain in prolonged combat situations, such as during Horde Night, and removes the need to carry multiple guns. It still carries the impressive stopping power all shotguns do, and for this reason is generically ammo efficient and a good investment as a secondary weapon for any build, or even as the primary for a strength build. At the fourth and final tier, we have the legendary Auto Shotgun. With a drum magazine mod giving a 32 shell capacity and a fire rate of 70 rounds per minute, it takes the impressive stopping power of previous shotguns and turns the player into an absolute force of nature. Most zombies can be killed in a single shot, while stronger targets are absolutely decimated in short order, typically long before they even get a chance to strike at the player. Shit. All right, well, I guess we're starting. Let's go. Got your back.
Oh, that was fast. Might need to scramble here. Reaching rounds, kids. Use them. <laughs> 